this amazing organisation rescues lots of very special Tasmanian wildlife, including wombats and paddy melons. Sadly, Noelle's mum was struck by a vehicle on Christmas Day last year and killed, but Noelle survived and he, as an orphan, was taken in by Wild Hearts at only two kilos and has been here being raised by the amazing Susie here ever since. When Noelle first came into care, he was on five feeds a day and when he became unwell, Susie was getting up every two hours to feed him. So it was such a huge commitment and absolutely amazing that he is thriving today. Um, with the help of the Wise Food Support Program, Susie was able to purchase milk to help feed Noel and make him big and strong. Noel is definitely in his teenage phase. He's outside in at a great enclosure at the moment, learning how to be a wild wombat. Noel will be ready to be released when he's around 18 kilos, so about four kilos to go, and it'll just be absolutely amazing to see him be released back into the wild. Wilbur Sports Wires through our Food for Wildlife program which fits into the, the second part of our food diversion strategy. So we donate through participating stores um, any surplus food that are suitable for our kind of wildlife partners, which then goes towards helping feed and support native wildlife. This Christmas, we've got our reindeer carrots, which 10 cents from every bag sold will be donated to Wires. And we've also got our uh, Wally the Wombat cake, um, which is back this year and $1 from every Wally the Wombat sold will also be donated to, to Wires this Christmas. So yeah, it's great to see Noel the Wombat here and it's, it's really exciting that all the donations from Woolworths can go towards helping more animals like Noel here in Tasmania.